It's been called a time machine and the new Hubble, but what exactly is the James Webb Space Telescope and how will it help us discover the origins of the universe? What makes this telescope different than the rest? It's all about light. Light comes in many forms, like ultraviolet, x-rays, infrared, and visible light. Visible light is what our eyes can see, but it can only travel so far before it fades, while infrared light travels much farther and isn't as easily blocked by objects in space. The Space Shuttle Discovery with the Hubble Space Telescope, our window on the universe. The Hubble Space Telescope has been our premier space telescope for decades, but it primarily sees visible light while the James Webb Telescope sees infrared. This means it will allow us to peer through clouds of gas and dust in our own galaxy where stars and planets are being born today. And because infrared travels longer distances before fading, it will allow us to see farther back in time to the time when the very first stars and galaxies were being born. A telescope is really a time machine. Because light travels at a finite speed through the universe, we see the universe as it existed when that light was emitted. For instance, it takes eight minutes for light to travel from the sun to the earth. So when you look at the sun, you're actually seeing the sun eight minutes in the past. By looking at light that's traveled 13 billion years, I think we'll see the first galaxies. We will find new things that we have no idea exists. The telescope sees using a 21-foot wide gold mirror. But to detect infrared light, it will need to be protected from our sun's light. To do this, the Webb telescope uses a giant mylar sun shield. On the sun-facing side, the temperature is about 250 degrees. And on the telescope-facing side of the top layer, you've deflected so much of the light that the temperature is minus 375 degrees. The Webb telescope is so large, it had to be folded up inside of its rocket. The final challenge for this telescope before it begins its mission could take months. First, it has to travel nearly a million miles into deep space, and then it has to unfold. If something happens to the telescope, it'll be so far from the Earth that no human will be able to reach it to fix it. In Austin, Eric Hendrickson, KXAN News.